You guys, it's day one of baking advent and I'm so excited to see what this little blue, and yes, I use blue posties on everything, has to say. Drum roll. Brrr. Gingerbread loaf. All right. That's all exciting. All right, bakers, day one of advent and we're going with a traditional item, gingerbread loaf, but it's me, so you know I gotta make it untraditional. All right. We're gonna make this uh, gingerbread loaf dairy free. And remember, I'm doubling mine because I found these cute little holders that I'm gonna make a ton of them to give in my Christmas packs to all of my neighbors. Okay, so what you need to start, and yes, I'm reading from my recipe over here, is three quarters of a cup brown sugar. You need half a cup of vegetable oil. Get it all in there. Coconut oil, vegetable oil, whatever you want to use. Two eggs. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. You need uh, three tablespoons of molasses. Uh, I prefer using dark molasses. It has a better flavor to it. Personal opinion, I'd, I'd use dark molasses. All right, so that. We need one teaspoon of vanilla. And then you need three quarters of a cup of applesauce. And I don't have any big things of applesauce. All I have are these little ones. So that's what I'm gonna use. Um, mix this well. Guys, then you're gonna add two cups of flour. I'm using all purpose. You can use a gluten-free flour, not a problem. And then for our spices, you need one teaspoon of cinnamon a half a teaspoon of cloves, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of allspice, and half a teaspoon of ginger. Now, for those of you that know me, my gingerbread loaf has no ginger in it because I am stupid allergic to ginger and it's not fun and we don't need to have that. And then um, the last thing you need is one teaspoon of baking soda. Mix well. You might be wondering yourself, Bailey, if you're going to give this to all your neighbors and stuff, why the heck do you care if there's ginger in it or not? I'm gonna lick the bowl, people. Okay, so if you are doing this in traditional uh, bread pans, it's going to cover two medium loaves or one large loaf with a tiny mini one on the side. Pop those in your oven at 325 degrees for about an hour or until toothpick comes out almost clean. Here's the fun part. I have this candy ginger. I'm not going to eat it. I am going to wash my hands when I'm done. I'm sprinkling that on top. But if you want something super awesome and just simple and so you don't have to go out and buy something, sugar in the raw on top is awesome. Okay, so I have all these mini loaves. I'm gonna pop these in my oven, 325 degrees. These ones should take about 35 to 40 minutes or until toothpick comes out almost clean. Stay tuned to see how these beauties turn out. Hey, bakers. Okay, so I was once asked if I could show how I wrap or package something like this to give away. So I'm gonna show you. Okay, first you need my nemesis. There's a whole section. Not, hang on. All right, I fixed it. The whole like end of it wasn't pulling and it was all just, it was bad. Okay, so first you need plastic wrap. Plastic wrap your item. Wait, Bailey, that's not pretty. Trust the process. Okay, plastic wrap your item. I hate plastic wrap. Okay. Then you're gonna get tissue, okay. tissue paper, and you're gonna wrap. And you're gonna wrap it like a present, like a little baby present. Okay. Put some tape on the bottom. All right. So I just taped that little flap down. Then you need a ribbon, and then I'm just going to put it around it, like. A normal present. I like to feed it in. Eh, oh my God, work with me. And then tie it. So feed it on, on both sides. So it's opposite. And then, oh my God, sometimes. Really? Pause. All right, round two. Okay. So I hold it down with my pinky and I tie it. And I do one. Then, I like to get, I have cinnamon sticks, okay? That I've clearly never opened. 
Uh, you can usually get cinnamon sticks really cheap. I get these from my local, like, Caputo's. Mm, I love it. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie this cinnamon stick on to the packaging. Okay. I'm going to double knot it. And then I'm going to put some more ribbon around it and swirl it. I'll show you. And because it's like Christmas, I'm just going to grab a candy cane, slip it in, and look at you guys. For all my neighbors, my gingerbread loaf. Look how cute and just simple and wrapped that is. Nothing super fancy, but what a great little thing for a housewarming or if you're going somewhere or if you just want to treat your neighbors. Try this out, you guys, and let me know what you think.